I didn't have to. Yeah, luckily. Yeah. Yeah. What's it like throwing 100 miles an hour plus? <laughs> like, what, does this feel different? Like, I don't know. I think it. I think it feels pretty good. I yeah. remember the first time I did it. It's like you have those moments in your your life where you like the first times and you always remember it. Like yeah. First kiss and like, <laughs> right, like right. first time I threw 100, I vividly remember it. Like, what was the when was I it? was it was in high A. It was in. Uh, was it Jupiter? It was in the Florida State League. It was against the Marlins. They're in Jupiter, right? Marlins high A? Uh, yeah, nice, I know. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And I forgot. I think I was facing Dendecker. I don't remember who I was facing. Was he even with them? <laughs> um, but I remember it was like a 1-2 or, two, or an 0-2. Oh, I knew I had two strikes, and I was like, I'm just going to throw this as yeah. hard as I possibly can. They had like a, a radar up there, and I just back-legged it. And I threw it so – I just tried to throw it really hard. And generally, when you try to throw it really hard, you don't throw it hard. Yeah. But I just felt so timed up this game that I was like, this is the time to do Let's it. Let's go. And I threw it. I, I don't know if it was like, I guess I don't remember vividly. I don't remember sure. swinging or if it was <laughs> yeah. looking, but I remember throwing it and looking back and being like, oh, 100? Like, my crazy. coach, too, was like, yeah, 100. Yeah. And I was like, just so happy. What do you think the biggest difference that got you from like 90 to 100 was? I think, honestly, um, a lot of it for me, I'm like 6'8, I throw hard. There's a lot of it is genetics, yeah. but I think most of it was realizing like how. I was always very quad dominant and I was always like uneven and I didn't do a lot of mobility and mm. I was like not stiff. I'm a pretty lengthy dude, but, um, I would just do a lot of like squats and like core. Cause when you're younger, it's just like get your legs and core strong. So right. it's like just sit ups and squats all the time. So I was just really like quad dominant and my, all my momentum was always taking me forward. So I was very across my body. Mm -hmm. And I think the second I started to really understand like the hinge pattern of like yeah. that straight bar deadlift. And like really getting into my legs and like coiling into my hips and getting strong in the weight room, but while also maintaining like mobility. Uh -huh. like I just got obsessed with that, like my my routine in the weight room. Interesting. Um, figuring out that like that weight on my heel, like not consciously like back, but like if I'm stacked up, my weight's on my heel and I'm dropping and driving and taking all my force home. That's when I really started to like to to like just have a sequence like a huge yeah. difference in velo and it yeah. used to be very long and it's tough because it's like you see these th at least i see these things all the time where it's like uh, five mile an hour five miles an hour in a week or like you know it's like different programs that mm -hmm. they want to sell you on it yeah it's right. like I, it just sucks because like when i was 14 i'd be like oh if i do uh whatever what are these called like flies or whatever right. i'm gonna gain five miles an hour in a right. week just because this video told me but yeah i think it's hearing it from someone like you who's a big leaguer who's like no you need to figure it out you really need to figure it out yourself because everyone's different than everyone yeah hopefully i think people will start to understand like, right or you find like good coaches and that's what's hard when you're younger it's like you don't might not have access to it so, yeah but, like yeah. finding people or pitching coaches or where i think it's a lot of it is like i guess if you don't have access to it like physically figuring out where you're limited and like pit like i don't know figuring out like what it takes to throw hard and like yeah. it's just so hard it's so different for everyone but there yeah. is no quick fix anytime you hear someone say like do this one thing and you'll throw harder it's, just, it's not it's like it's a whole you have to do a lot of things, you know, consistently all the time to throw hard. Yeah. I feel like a lot of it's just, you got to kind of figure out through trial and error on your own, like, or at least yeah. find, so find a mentor who knows more than you right. who can teach you what they know and then find another mentor who maybe knows different. Right. And like learning from failure as well. Like if you keep getting, like if you're doing bad the same way consistently and like your failures are all, are consistently your failures. Right. Like for me, it was always walking guys. Mm -hmm. And then I would start to spiral. Like as when I was younger, I was just, it was hard to throw strikes and, it would just, I'd walk guys, it would spiral, I'd do bad. It was consistently that. So it's like eliminate walking, throw more strikes. And and when you're ahead, you're confident and you put guys away. Like, yeah. And that's yeah. simple. It's kind of like a simple thing. But yeah. for me, that's, that's what mine was. Hit a pen, I pull up heavy. In the layout, on a Eddie. I got three of us, run the valley. In New Dios, never belly.